Hey, Andy here. I want to show you the method that I use when I'm choosing colors for a project. It's really simple, really effective, especially when you have like a set of rough colors that are individually good colors, but they kind of don't feel like they belong together. They don't feel like they're part of the same palette. And this method really helps to kind of unify them. So I have a few color palettes here and I mark them as before and after. And by the way, it's not that they were bad colors before. It's hard to say that there even is such a thing as a bad color palette because any color can be a good color if it is in the right place, in the right project. Anyway, what I like to do is place all my colors in the artboard and then place a flat color behind them. Let's just move this to the center here. Then I'll select each individual color and play with its opacity until I get a result that looks good to me. And by the way, I'm just placing the mouse cursor over the input field and using the mouse wheel to change the value. You can also hold shift to change in increments of 10. This is a really flexible way of working with colors because if I finish and I feel like something's off, I can always change the flat color on the background. Like, I feel like this palette is a little too muddy. I want the colors to be a little bit brighter. So I'll just select the background color and then increase the brightness value. You can also play with the hue and the saturation of the background color if you feel like that's off as well. Or keep on changing the opacity of the colors above it until you find the perfect spot. After you finish playing with the colors, you can just select everything, go to the object menu and select the flatten transparency option. A menu will pop up, but you don't need to worry about these settings because we don't have any raster effects or bitmaps in our file. So just hit OK. The objects will be grouped, so just select them and use the shortcut Ctrl or Command Shift G to ungroup them. The color is now applied and you're done. And you can really go bonkers with this, like here I added this golden yellow on the background to make this palette look more like a fall themed palette. Maybe I'm doing like a seasonal design, so I want this color palette to remind me of the fall season. Anyway, the sky is truly the limit. I hope this was useful, I hope you learned something new, and we'll see each other again on the next one. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye!